Hi everyone, my name is Katie Gorsuch and I'm here with Explore WIU. Today I'm talking to Katie Hamilton. She is an alumnus of WIU in the um, Communication Sciences Disorders program, grad school and undergrad. And now she is currently working in Spoon River Valley District as a speech pathologist, correct? Mm -hmm. All right, so she's gonna um, tell us a little bit about herself and um, her experience at Western. So Katie, um, I'll let you go on from here. <laughs> okay. Um, so can you talk about like um, where you're originally from and then what brought you specifically to WIU for your undergrad and then grad school? Sure. Um, so I kind of grew up around here, rural Fulton County, um, in the Fairview, London Mills area. Um, I grew up wanting to do something in music. Um, okay, cool. I was kind of like I sung since I was three and mm -hmm. my mom and I have sung together forever. And so I always knew I wanted to do something with music. Mm -hmm. So I actually started out um, at Bradley my freshman year of college. Okay. Um, and I wanted to do music education was what mm -hmm. I decided to go into. Um, I got there and it just wasn't what I, I guess was looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, in college and in a career. So I was just really unhappy that first year and I was talking to my brother and sister-in-law and I was just like, I don't know what to do. I'm not happy here. Mm -hmm. Um, and they said, have you ever, um, thought about speech pathology and I went, oh, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so I kind of, they told me about it mm -hmm. and you know, they, you know, they know me really well and my passion for helping people. And, um, so I kind of looked into it a little bit and, um, Bradley didn't have a program. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that was part of my push for um, transferring to Western. So um, because they had a program mm -hmm. and I did want to mm -hmm. stay kind of local and I knew their program was good. So I transferred to Western my, my sophomore year of college. And just as soon as I took like the first intro class, I knew that this was something I was really interested in. Mm -hmm. And from there on, I just loved it. So um yeah, so I stuck there for undergrad, and then I applied to grad school there and got in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's kind of how I ended up at Western. Cool. So you kind of got a unique story. So, but you found yeah. your path at Western, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, how you're able to get that help, and then found out that there was a program right here for you. Yeah. Um. So. Um, so my other question was going to be: Did you start out as a communication science disorder student? But you didn't. And so you explained that a little bit um, and why you became to, to, to become a major in that. Um, mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit about the hands-on experience you got at Western and maybe any unique classes or even like faculty you had a chance to work with? Uh, sure. So let's see. Um, when you're in the CSU program, uh, you get to do like work in their clinic. Mm -hmm. um, I think it, I think it was maybe my junior year of undergrad and you get your own client Mm -hmm. And um, you just get to start working there. And so that was, I guess, my first experience. Mm -hmm. But then um, I think it was grad school that I had the opportunity to work at MacArthur, which is a local preschool in Macomb. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and do an experience there. And I was able to go to a semester in Galesburg at mm -hmm. a nursing home. Um, so I, I feel like I got a lot of real life experience. Mm -hmm really, really nice. And I feel like that kind of really helped me prepare for my current job mm -hmm. and you know, wanting to work in the school district specifically and with the, you know, the preschool age. Mm -hmm. Um, so, I mean, we kind of got really close with all the faculty members. I wouldn't say there was one specific one that I, you know, I mean, I, mean, I guess the one that I did MacArthur, um, she was really big into the schools. And so I guess maybe that was kind of my push to stay in the schools mm -hmm. but um, otherwise I mean all the faculty members of the CSC program were amazing yeah so. great um and now it's called they just changed the name to speech pathology and audiology yeah, so thought, yeah so I keep yeah hard for me forgetting to, uh, to change it back that. to that because <laughs> I was like preparing for CSD and now it's speech language pathology but yeah um it'll it'll adjust so um <laughs> 
so while you're at Western, did you, um, were you involved with any of like the student organizations, whether that be like in the department or just on campus? So what was like your student involvement and student life like at Western? Um, so they had the, um, well now the speech pathology program, <laughs> it got hard for me to get used to. Um, they have a student organization called, it was called Wishla at the time. It yep. Like, it's, yep. Yeah, so the Speech Language Hearing mm -hmm. um, Student Association, I was a part of that. Um, I, w I guess I probably wasn't super involved, but mm -hmm. otherwise I didn't really do any specific um, activities, I guess, at Western because, mm -hmm. you know, I tried the Greek life for a little bit and it just wasn't for me, but mm -hmm. that's okay. And I, speech pathology is hard. And so yeah. I didn't really <laughs> feel like I had a whole lot of extra time to mm -hmm. do extra things. And so... Um, the library was my extra, yeah. my extra activities. <laughs> yeah, I know the students I did talk to, they said how, you know, they so much should you jump into the major so early on that there's really like, it's not like some of the other majors where you have gen eds and stuff and you're taking that. So it's kind of like right. slow ease into it. The first year is like, no, you like start out and you're into it. So yeah, yeah, that is your extracurricular yeah. studying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Did you um, have any like student positions on campus, like student worker or um, was your main involvement just like with the clinics and, or were you like a grad assistant or anything like that? Yeah, I'm mostly just in the clinic. I was a grad assistant okay. um, for I think a semester of grad school, but mm -hmm. other than that, that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. um, did you, um, were there any like scholarships or any awards or things like that, that the department had that you were able to like either receive or like apply for? Um, you're really testing my memory. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I think just like the grad assistant was, was mm -hmm. one of the main ones. Um, I think that helped kind of pay for some of the grad school. Mm -hmm. Um, but otherwise I can't remember, there might've been a scholarship available, but mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> That's fine. Um, let me think. So you kind of touched on this a little bit, but can you kind of go in depth a little bit more of how how your time as a, a student in the CSD, now Speech Language Pathology Program, <laughs> at Western prepare you for jobs after graduation? Like, you know, besides the clinics, like the specific classwork, you know, maybe like, you know, the core curriculum or whatever, um, how that like got you prepared, like mentally and just like able to work with the different populations and, and stuff going into it. Um, I mean, all the professors were just really knowledgeable um, mm -hmm. and always shared their experiences of working in the field. So I think that kind of helped mm -hmm. um, give us an idea. Um, yeah, and working in the clinic and my extra um, practicums that I got to do really, really helped with that. And I got to, you know, then I got some hands-on experience with some speech pathologists in mm -hmm. the real world. And then, um, you know, internships we yeah. had school and hospital internships and so mm -hmm. that all kind of helped prepare us but I kind of feel like in any any job college prepares you mm -hmm. so far but you know just you have to learn and that first mm -hmm. year is called your CFY and so you you know you're supervised your first year and mm -hmm. you can have somebody to ask questions and so I don't know I feel like they do a nice job of kind of I guess easing you into it and you don't mm -hmm. feel like you're drowning yeah uh, so that's pretty much it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then do you have like any specific memory or like great time, you know, best memory you have at Western that you would like to share? Doesn't have to be specifically like in your major, but just something that I don't know, you always like remember positive about Western. And it's like, you know, that great memory you can look back at. Um, I would just say grad school as a whole. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like the most stressful, but yet one of the most fun times ever because all, I can't, I can't exactly remember exactly how many of us there were, but you know, mm -hmm. let's say like 18 or 20. Yeah, I think and, she said there's 20 and the, they do 20 at a time in the grad program. Yeah. And so we were together all the time. We did mm -hmm. study groups together. We would have dinners. Um, we would hang out on the weekends. Mm -hmm. Um, so I guess just having that tight knit program with all the other um, students mm -hmm. that I guess was just made for some good memories yeah. and friendships that'll last forever. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I guess grad school, even though it was crazy and just 
almost some of the most emotional times. <laughs> like it was also some of the best times. All right. Great. Yeah. Grad school is, is a fun time. I remember that Western. I did grad school at Western too. So, yeah. Um, and then do you have like any advice, um, to prospective students, whether it be like them going to, um, Western or doing, um, speech pathology or audiology or like being a local student choosing a school? Do you have like any words of wisdom you'd like to um, share? Um, Staying local, I mean, I'm all about, not that Western's a business, but, you know, supporting local businesses, mm -hmm. stay local. I, I'm all for that. Um, as far as going into speech pathology, it's extremely hard, but it's so worth it. Mm -hmm. And something I tell people when I, when I talk to girls that are thinking about it is you will always have a job. Mm -hmm. And that, to me, is worth everything. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it is some of the best memories you'll ever have. The professors are fabulous. Um, yeah, so I guess just that program is, it's top notch. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day off to <laughs> FaceTime me. Um, and thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you so much.